You enjoyed our it. caterer as per. Thank you. Just my luck. I'm taking a whole week. I need a break, okay? You know, just want to say hi to my YouTube family. <laughs> This is a faithful couple. They serve God this way everywhere they go, everywhere they've been. That's why they have disciples. Uh, uh, ministering the gospel everywhere. In fact, the church we just saw, Harbor, that we're investing in, uh, Chris and Stacy are their disciples. So uh, we thank God for them, though. We appreciate them. And so they have deposited their gift in this church, and we thank the Lord for that. We, we're, we're blessed. We know that it, it, these kinds of things are always bittersweet because, you know, the bitter part is you, you lose someone's uh, immediate uh, uh, fellowship. But the, the, the broader part is we know we're reaching the world. We know that Reading is going to be blessed and that Amen. there's going to be a, they're going to be sorted out. There's some great guys working under, uh, a couple of churches working under Reading that are powerful. So I know Pastor Jay's going to be very, very good for these guys. And so we are just looking forward to what God's going to do. Let's welcome Pastor Jay. <laughs> Subjective, but for me it is. <laughs> you know, this is my church, and it always will be. And no matter where I'm at in the world, South London Church has been my church. I've been in this church since the 17th of July, 1993, wow. and so in a couple of days it'll be 31 years. And uh, I don't regret a day being here. I've made many friends. I've learned a lot of stuff, uh, and my life wouldn't be what it is today if it wasn't for this church. And so. I thank God for putting me here. We are very happy uh, about this work, the work in Reading. And um, like I said, bittersweet. Um, and so um, what we know ultimately, we are serving the Lord Jesus and we follow him. So uh, let's stretch out our hands to pray. Let's impart, let's take your blessing, what you've received, what the goodwill and, and the faith that you have, and put it on them for disciples and breakthrough and multiplication, favor and just tremendous things that will, will, will be imparted. So let's pray. Five. That's nice. Hi. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I am in Waterloo. I'm on my way to Aero for the over 30s fellowship. There's a the second one, second one since it started. And I don't have my camera. I forgot it when I went to do my nails. But to get back home, this journey is already an hour and 34 minutes because I'm not driving today. So I didn't want to go back home and risk being later than I already am. But obviously, I'm taking you guys with me. So let's go. Oh, cha. Need to make this train. Destination. As I was saying on the train, I don't know if you heard me. I was saying Bexley. Bexley Heath has some nice houses. I've seen some nice houses as I was as I was on the bus. Anyway. So we, um, we observed each other and <laughs> very quickly we had to assess the quickest here that we're all Londoners. Of course, that's true. How do you qualify for London? Have you lived in London? No, we've all lived, we've in, all London. lived in London. <laughs> and we're all Christians. <laughs> My name is Genesis. Um, as you all heard, I'm a Londoner, I've lived in London my whole life. Christian, love Jesus. I'm not sure about this one, you know. You're a Londoner. 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 you are do you know if I live in London right now? No, we've all lived in London. That's, that's not, it's not our current address. That's a London. Mayawa. 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 You can call me. Mayawa. Hi everyone, I'm Samira. That's it. Hi everyone, I'm Sapphire. Hi Sapphire. Hi everyone, I'm Mary. Hi Mary. Hi Esther. Hi Esther. You guys are struggling at all. Okay. No, but I heard it. 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 That's kind of similar to me. That's kind of like that's kind of like that's kind of like that's Three days later. It's marriage retreat week. I have taken the whole week off work. Marriage retreat is just Thursday to Saturday. I've taken a whole week. I need a break, okay? Right now, I am at Blue Water. 
I need to find some pieces or a suit for Eric I don't know which one I'm gonna find first whether a shirt and tie that he can wear that matches my dress or whether a whole new suit because he needs a new suit but I don't know we spent a lot of money this month so I don't know about that whole new suit thing we'll see we'll see when, when I get inside but just wanted to introduce the vlog hi sorry I'm getting myself together as introducing so it's a bit hectic but I thought I'd take you along with me why not why not let's see what we can find my dress basically if you haven't watched my last marriage retreat vlog watch it here I've linked it and on the final night just before we leave on Saturday there's always a banquet and it's a it's a black tie event kind of thing it's a dress up event so I'm wearing an army green dress this year and I want Eric to match my fly so I'm gonna see if I can find something army green for him to wear if not then it's just gonna be maybe some accessories like a tie at least even if I just get an army green tie it will work you know what I mean so that's why I'm at blue water let's go one thing I'm likely to do is forget where I parked so zone T lower level Well, I parked really far. Anyways. Parked far, but I'm at the right place because Zara is the first place I wanted to go to. So, great for me. Didn't find anything in Zara. Found some trousers in River Island, but I'm praying moss. Is the shop that has what I need. Just my luck. But a 44 jacket comes with a 38 trouser. It's okay. a, what we call a six inch drop, 44 minus six inches. Okay. So you'll always get it with a set suit. Okay. Always. So either custom made yeah. or if you can find a shop that does a separate jacket, and, but then you can you said you've not been able to get cream. If you've got cream, look. But 34, I can't take four inches in because of pockets. Those are pockets here. So it's one you've got the colours gonna be difficult for yeah. you and secondly you are limited because your area is Thank you so much. 44 or 34. I wish I was that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. I'm having difficulty because Eric is large on top and small on bottom. Not only that, I can't even find the army green colour to match my dress so bespoke tailoring let me see there let me see how much their bow ties are in here cute real cute this shop was not in my price range but if you're looking for something fly for your man for a special occasion definitely go in there and get some bespoke tailoring done i'm already tired i'm already bored uh, uh, shopping is not fun i don't understand Anyway, I'm going back to the car. I'm going home. Didn't find what I wanted. Thank you for having me. That was rather unsuccessful. I mean, to be honest, I hate walking around shopping. Online shopping, any day, any time, I'm that babe, but I hate with a passion walking around shopping. So I didn't get anything apart from a pair of trousers and I feel like the pair of trousers I got are basic black trousers he already has but the ones he has already are a bit tight so hopefully these ones fit better. I saw some really impeccable black ones that I love from River Island but they didn't have his size so I'm thinking order it online and get it delivered to store and I go and pick up on Wednesday or maybe Tuesday because I feel like the texture will make his outfit more more smart looking as opposed to just the basic black schoolboy kind of trousers so that's what, let me look on River Island now actually and see if I can order it yeah. Oh, 
my favorite auntie. <laughs> auntie Abby too, we didn't forget about you. Um, just touched down, quick, quick, quick meet up, you know, back in London, you know, you know, just want to say hi to my YouTube family. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Period. Period. Hey, my loves. It is Wednesday, one day before marriage retreat. What have I been doing? Yesterday, I rested all day. Actually, I edited and rested because my girl is tired. I ended up buying Eric's outfit and doing next day delivery. So I'm gonna be picking that up tonight because I got it delivered to the store and the store is on church. And you know, Wednesdays there's always church service. So I'll be going to church later. And that's that for the updates. In terms of prep, I already got my nails done, I got my feet done, got my eyebrows done. So there's nothing really to show you because I did all of that off camera. So today we were supposed to have family come over and we're gonna host them for a few hours before they went back to the airport because they had a little a little stopover at Heathrow but unfortunately they wanted to go shopping first so by the time they went out on their way to my mum's house I was saying to my mum oh we need to just go meet them at the tube station because by the time they get to the house they're basically gonna have to be leaving the door again in order to make their flight we quickly went to go meet with them say hi give them a few snacks and yeah now i feel like oh i wish i was going with them it's so nice i haven't seen them in years it's been years 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 oh the girls are all grown up oh grand auntie oh yeah that was a nice little five minute greeting <laughs> shout out to Farity. she's on point period <laughs> anyway i am going to edit and get ready for church in a bit so i don't think i'll be picking the camera up until tomorrow when we're on our way to marriage retreat and that is going to be a separate vlog so actually um maybe i'll pick you up for church and then i'll sign out later later when he when he simply said nave give God room, I started doing a little bit of research. I started looking into it. I said, you know what? How does God use people in, in the area of the supernatural? So I started going around asking normal people, disciples and preachers, whatnot. And the amazing thing that I found was that God doesn't use people in any one specific way. Whereas the way in which I have grown up and perceived it, at least, I can't speak about you guys, but the way I perceived it is it was always the evangelist, or it was always the preacher, or it was always someone specific, or someone was, you know, digging in that little bit deeper than everybody else. But, you know, I remember reading Pastor um, Greg's book on healing, and he, and he made such a simple statement. He said, the same faith that you have that Jesus has saved you, is the same faith that you need that he'll heal you. And I thought to myself, it's as easy as that. It's as simple as that. God gives me a word specifically before the service is even started, you need to speak to this person. Another person will be just praying at the altar and then they get a word for an individual. Another person may audibly speak out. It all varies. And the reason why that was such a blessing and a, such an encouragement to me was because I now know that God will just use me as I am. Yes, yes. And I don't need to be doing anything intricate. That's not to say you don't contend. Of course you contend. But sometimes you contend in the wrong ways. I might say, God help me to be more like Pastor Frederick. When God's saying, I don't want you to be more like him. I want you to be you. And I want to move through your life. And just by way of testimony as I wrap it up, God has really been moving in so many various ways, church. Yeah. You know, I, I've been going around preaching, and one of the things that I prefer to do specifically, if I'm praying for people for healing, they say, oh, pastor, can you come and pray for me? I just say, you pray for yourself. I say, you touch your body wherever it is, and we're going to believe God together. Because I don't want you to walk away thinking that I healed you or the reason you were healed was because of me. I want it to be that when you leave, 
or when I leave more specifically, you leave saying, you know what, I believed God with the man of God and I'm going to continue to believe God even when the man of God is gone. Yes. I remember I was praying for someone at the altar um, and just praying over them in Holland and the lady came up to me and said, oh, do you know what, what you was praying over me was actually what I've been going through. So God has been moving in so many different and specific areas and the reason why I'm testifying church is because I want us as a congregation to step out yes. and I know that I wasn't the only, the only one you know I like to ask questions rightly or wrongly but I remember speaking to Pastor Jay because he made a statement on a Wednesday he said yeah you guys need to step out more and I said the same thing that I said to you guys just now I said but Pastor we're ignorant if you teach us to tell us to preach, we will preach. But if someone speaks out in tongues, we might be a bit like, okay, what's going on? And that's not because we don't believe God in that area. We're just ignorant. So we need to exercise the spirit of God in this place more, church. We need to see God speaking through people. We need to be praying for people. I know we're always praying for the young people and whatnot, but we need to be praying. Do you know what? When, when they go on the streets, let them step out and pray for people. Yeah. Pray that God will anoint them. Pray that God will heal them. We don't need to wait for an evangelist for people to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We don't. We need to be stepping out ourselves as individuals saying, God, use me just as you've used another because you said you're no respecter of persons. Two years ago, three years ago, we weren't in this place. But now, we just need to continue to exercise what God has um, started in the midst of us and see God do amazing things. Amen, church? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Many times people ask, um, they hear about that Mary and I were in Jamaica as missionaries for eight years before we came into the fellowship. And they kind of, I try to explain to them exactly what we did. They know about the sketchboard because I share it often. But going through my files last month, I was throwing away a lot of stuff. I came across a video. And this video is 35 years old. And this video was put together whilst we were in Jamaica because when we used to travel around, we would go to churches and share the ministry with churches and try to recruit uh, people to work with us and work with our ministry. This is the ministry that we worked with for eight years in Jamaica, open air campaigners. And that was our logo and uh, the sword represents the sword of the Word of God coming through the flames of fire of hell and taking power and dominion as we preach. It's not enough to tell us that Jesus died on the cross. It's not enough to tell you that Jesus was buried. But you know the whole foundation of the Christian experience is that Jesus rose from the grave victoriously, conquering death out of the grave. Today, we're introducing you to a victorious Jesus and he was willing to die on the cross and the Okay, let's read the heading. What does it say? You gotta work with me. Those children are much harder than this. Amen. Praise the Lord. Becoming God's servant. And that was the challenge that we were faced with 37 years ago when we entered Jamaica in 1985. Becoming a servant of God is this right here. Can anybody? What's that letter? There you go. Fantastic. It's going to take this right here. What everybody, what does that word say? Life. Life, that's right. Listen to me, church. And becoming a servant of God, it's going to take not just a moment to fulfill a responsibility in a position in a church. Anybody can do that. To be a servant of God, it's going to take what I call a life of availability. It's going to take one other thing, and, and that's that regular ladder there, amen. And then I'm going to put that right there, and that right there, and that right there, and that right there. It's going to take a life of dependability. You've never seen this before, haven't you? The first time in it, Mary. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs>
It is a marriage retreat weekend. Oh, not the not the rose petals. Slumped. <laughs> Slumped. <laughs> One. Let's cut together. At home. I've never shouted at you before. I, I don't even know what your shouting voice sounds like. <laughs> I, I don't even know what. When er Eric is angry, I don't even know what his true anger is. 22 years and six children later, just six, by the way. <laughs> Do you spoon? Yeah, Eric doesn't even know what the meaning is. So, you know, we don't do that. <laughs> Turn up the